All right, we're live. We're here in Thailand. You gonna come in this pool? You gonna, you gonna do the bubbles? Oh, what a beautiful wow! Thailand, man, Thailand. Today was a really hard day for me personally. Um, Tori woke me up at 5:30. Whoa, it's slippery. Be careful. Where are you? There you are. Getting your bikini. Um, making the getting. You know, so anyway, so Tori woke me up this morning at like 5 o'clock. She's like, let's ride to Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, let's do a border run. I'm like, oh, really? And I'm like, it might, it might rain and stuff like that. She's like, oh, it's fucking hard night, let's go, get on the bike. So I woke up this morning, I was just so tired. I had a late night last night doing some edits and getting back some emails and stuff. Check out the pool. How deep is it? Well, look, I look like Kojak. Do you mean, <laughs> I wouldn't, you could, it's, you could do a shallow drop. Do a shallow drop, but you're six foot tall. Tori's six foot tall. Tori's six foot tall. But uh, so anyway, Tori's like, let's go ride in you know, the 187 k's to Chiang Rai, and I, I was I was pretty cooked, man. I did I really didn't want to go. I had my eye mask on. I'm just like, man, I find this really hard personally to get the motivation to get up. So I didn't have any caffeine, didn't have anything else, and I just I didn't I didn't uh, totally strip it off. I can't show you that. I didn't have um any stims at all, and I just like had that just dealt with the fatigue and just cruising and. Then, now I'm just feeling charged. Nothing, nothing in the bloodstream. I've got Tori's, you can't swim here naked. Let's go, oh, Jesus. Um, but yeah, anyway, today was, it was hard for me personally. Oh, so good. But I got it done. Got it done, is that back? Baby got back. Whew. Hot stuff. Temperature, the temperature of the pool, turn around and show us what you got on your, um, your sunburn. On my back? No, you look pretty good to me. <laughs> they look pretty good to me. Anyway, let's do some let's do some uh, questions here. So I did I did fully shave the hair right back. You can see the little hair follicles there. I cut myself in that bike race a few weeks ago. Um, so actually staying in the same hotel. Got a gym here, get swole. The same hotel as we were for the Asian race a few weeks ago. And someone asked me about my marathon. Still, I'm still aiming for that 2:30 marathon. You notice I have lost a fair bit of weight in the last few weeks just from doing that one race. Um, it's pretty amazing though, isn't it? That Sprite makes you fat. <laughs> I mean, jeez, gee whiz, man. You know, people, some of the nasty, some of the nasty comments out there as well. So like, you're too lean, man. You're too lean. These cars make you fat. Sugar makes you fat. You're too lean, during order. It's like, man, come on. Which is, which is it gonna be? Which is it gonna be? All right, let's answer some questions. How often do I run? You can follow me on Strava. Strava actually just verified me, so big shout out to my friends at Strava for verifying me. Big shout out. Not many people get verified. Lance Armstrong's verified. Casey Neistat and Duno, they're the three, three crew. Actually, there's a few more, I'm just trolling. Um, but yeah, verified on Strava. Tori, uh-oh, here we go. It's getting frisky. Um, but yeah, so follow me on Strava. Follow us on Strava. What's your Strava name, Bubbles? Tori Barry. Tori Bazzi. All right, yeah, Tori. look at that face. Oh, lucky guy, aren't I? Lucky guy. Paradise there. Like pineapple. <laughs> like pineapple head. <laughs> oh, oh my god, your chin looks so big. It's amazing. It's lighting. Yeah, lighting. Oh. <laughs> it's amazing how many faces you're going to have in this lighting. But uh, I was going to say, not very nice lighting. the lifestyle we live, man, is pretty amazing, isn't it, Tori? What do, you, what do you think of that? Someone said Tori's got nice knockers. <laughs> nice coconuts. Um, all natural. Yeah, we live a good, good um, So I would also say, yeah, I mean, we're pretty blessed. But it's not about being blessed, it's about making it fucking happen, you know? But again, we are blessed that we had an Aussie passport. Because if you were born in certain countries, you don't have as much freedom to get around. So, you know, you got to appreciate what you got, man. If you access internet, man, you're in the top. 1% of the planet of opportunities, so don't be too too much of a downer. Don't be too much of a downer. So, um, when's the ebook on Thailand coming out? It's coming out very, very soon, but first I'm going to put out the Relationship MGTOW book. First that one there, and then do that one. Um, do, you li do you need a calorie deficit to lose fat face? Hmm. Face fat? Not at all. You just no. need to be... You know, it depends on your age as well. It depends on your genetics. So if you're 21, you're probably not going to have as lean a face as I am. You know, the older you get, the leaner you get. If assuming you're eating well. Just try out of a YouTube channel, Tori. Get slim with Tori. Get slim with Tori. Check it out. Yeah, so it's going to move over the light here. Um, 
Into the shadows of darkness. Let's put it down because it's cold out of the water. Alright. Move it down a little bit. Oh. Oh. This is how we're doing it, man. This is how oh. we do it. Live it live. <laughs> Live it large in Chiang Mai, Thailand. <laughs> All right, so should vegans date non-vegans? Tori, what do you think of that? I would just find it hard personally. Yeah, I'd, I would find it like... So, like, I mean, you can, I guess. Maybe, maybe Tinder dates, for sure, you could do that. Transform them. But, I mean, I, I reckon you're better off you know, getting... It's like a bicycle, you know, you can ride any bike you want, but you're better off... So someone just gave us 10 euros. Woohoo! Dave, PGT3, thanks for that. Um, but... You know, I mean, if you date, if you're dating a non-vegan, at least then you can transform them, transform them to be vegan. Will they transform them? Uh, otherwise, you dump them, dump the bitch. <laughs> sure, it's like kick them to the curb. I would say just write down what you want in a partner. I mean, I, when I was looking for a new girlfriend, I'm just like, I want someone who's fit, wants to ride a bike, vegan, stuff like that. You know, so I think you've got to write, have a list of what you want, and go with that. Where's the microphone in this thing? Am I blocking the mic? No, I'd say. Mark. Okay. I'd say I second here. So, yeah. When will we be back in Australia? Not exactly too sure yet, but definitely be back for summer, doing a lot of street, street interviews in Adelaide, <laughs> etc. Summer. So, yeah. Summer. They met at a grocery store. Who did? You. And you and your, me. And your pineapple head. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, those are not euros, they're pounds. Whales. Would you date me if you broke up with Tori? And it's, it's, I'll have a question. I'll ask this question over here. <laughs> uh, what, what, what can you offer me? You, got a bike, you want a bike shop? You want a bike shop? <laughs> We've got Brendan Buak. Are you? Dropping five bucks. Thank you very much, the Super Chat. Mm. All right, we got Brendan. Thanks for the Super Chat, my friend. Let me put my logo. Making it rain, man. I mean, people are making it rain. It's pretty cool. Bubs, you can't moisturise and then go on the pole. Oh, yeah, now you're be, slimy. Yeah, you're right. Big mistake. Tom Dumoulin, winner of the Giro. What do you think of him? I think that he doesn't have a chance in the Tour de France. I've ridden with Tom, and he's quite an approachable guy, man. Like Tom's approachable guy. He's a friendly dude, man. Tom Dumoulin, big T. I, I rate him as a pro cyclist. I mean, I know, I know, I know, I know vegan cyclists, man, who think they're hot shit on Strava, he won't even fucking talk to anyone unless they got like a fucking certain jersey or something on, but Tom Dumoulin, he's down to earth dude, so as a person, he's quite, quite, quite approachable, quite friendly. Uh, thoughts on Jason Genova at the Ruby, I'm not sure what that, what, what's going on with Jason there, I'm not sure, you have to give me a heads up on that one. Do you take B12? We I do it for him. Yeah, Troy gave me some B12 <laughs> shots the other day. First time injecting. Yeah, yeah. it's good. An injection. Someone said that did the double century Harley. Thank you. Did the double century. It's all about the carbs. How many Good k's? Job. How many k's did you run today? Uh, ride today, Tori? Huh? How, how many? Uh... I reckon we would have done two hundred by the time we had dinner. But oh yeah, 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 yeah. on Astrava, I think it was like one hundred eighty-seven on nine or something. Yes. We got some. Oh. Oh, we got some photo bombers, oh, oh, man. Oh. oh. Photo bombing. Photo bombing the last <laughs> year. <laughs> I um, want a heart. Harley, are you on drugs? I'm on, I'm on Tory. Big, <laughs> big T. I'm full Natty Bra today. Nothing. Nothing. Sugar. Um, and that's the thing. What I was tired as fuck this morning. I was so tired this morning. Yeah, Harley. It was so yeah. annoying. We, I, I, I woke up at 5.30 wanting to leave. I didn't take nothing. I took nothing. Nada. Because when you take stimulants when you're tired, you dig yourself into more fatigue. So now, I feel good because I'm straight. If I took something this morning to come out fatigue, I'd be fading now. So, there's, there's a time for stims, definitely. I've used them occasionally, but there's a time when they're going to fuck you up. So, use them, use caution with caution and use sparingly. Use sparingly. And cocaine, I mean, cocaine's strong. If you need cocaine, you're pretty, your adrenals must be burnt, man. You must be burnt. You must be burnt. Thoughts on eating dates or oh, oats every day for breakfast? I find oats oats are too heavy for me. If you're in the winter, maybe it's okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I find in, oats are too heavy. I like fruit best. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smoothies, fruit. Yeah. Mm. Why are cyclists so pretentious? That's a good question. Holly. Come on over here, but we'll get a bit of. No, bit of, watch out. She's watch swimming. Fruit. She's swimming. Oh, oh. <laughs> what we'll do. Oats taste like, I mean, oats with sugars are right, but I, I recommend, um... You know what we need in your life, Yeah, no, we'll come over here, we'll come a bit, 
I was getting the getting the kick paddles. Wait, it's getting deep down here. Yeah, it gets really deep. Ooh, baby. <laughs> I'm swimming with a dune rider. I'm a life is a pro triathlete. <laughs> you won't um, be able to touch down here. Alright, let me just get this camera. Oh yeah, here we go. Alright, I'm getting in deep. We're in deep water here. Uh, why are cyclists so pretentious? I don't know, man. Like, what do you think? Have you noticed that in the modeling industry, Tori, as a super supermodel runway girl? Cyclists. No, it's, or are models pretentious? You find models pretentious? Yeah, I guess so. It's a pretentious world. It is a pretentious world. I want to read your questions. Oh, it's getting too deep. Dave GP, oh, yeah. thanks for the two pounds. Have any questions? Hit us up in the super chat. Oh. Cyclists are pretentious because it's an expensive sport of deep traditions. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not pretentious, so I'll try not to be. Look at the moon. Oh, hey, can you guys see the moon? Look at that, man. Look at the moon. That's the moon face. Moon them all. That's moon face. Moonstrong. Moonstrong's looking down on us. <laughs> uh, do a, you completely rely on YouTube for income? So the question is, I, I make pennies on YouTube. I make pennies on YouTube. I make more on my super chats than anything, but I appreciate that. But no, I make pennies on YouTube. I don't do YouTube for money. Um, I mean, I've made money on YouTube. There's no doubt about that. But these days, the demonetization on probably 99% of my videos, I make I make pittance, a couple hundred bucks a month. So I, I do YouTube for the passion. I do YouTube. Troy would earn more money on YouTube than me now. Um, I like YouTube because I just love the connection. I love my community, man. I love my crew. I love all you guys out there who are just... You know, come into my videos every day to learn how to make themselves better, better people, better dads, better mums, better partners, better everything, better cyclists, better vegans. And that's why I turn up every fucking day to my social media outlets. You know, there we go. Um, if someone donates 50 pounds, will Tori get a coconut out? We can't do that on YouTube. Got to you, porn for that. Um, Lewis Hamilton's just gone vegan. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A video about that will get a few hits. Good idea, Dave. We'll have to do a Lewis Hamilton um, video. Thanks for the heads up. Do they sell EPO in Thailand? EPO is very easy to get in Thailand. Very, very easy to get in Thailand. Very easy to get. I've never used it. I uh, don't need it. I don't need to use EPO because I'm not a pro rider. Well, I'm not. Hey, that's, that's, I shouldn't say that because not all pros use EPO. I'm not aiming to win the Tour de France. That's what I should say. You know, I'm not aiming to win the world champs. So why would I use it? I want to answer some questions. Um, I'd use it for a YouTube video experiment, but I've got friends who use it and it's very, very powerful. Very, mm. very powerful. Doing Everesting. I've done, I've done, how many Everests have I done now? Three, three, four Everests? There's a gym up there. Do one with me back in Australia. There's a gym. See that gym up there? Just ride a, ride a bike around. I've done the Everest things, man. I'm going to go walk off my dinner. You go walk it off. <laughs> On the treadmill. The treadmill. <laughs> um... All right, so if you're serious about bike saddle comfort, check out SMP saddles. Yeah, everyone's got different preferences on saddles, you know. We, we changed Tori's saddle position and it made a big difference. Yes, big time. Yeah. 24 hour rides coming up. I've done 24 hour rides. Come on, man. I've been, I've, I've been, I did my first 24 hour race in 2001, man. Yeah, I'm tired as well. It's getting cold. Um, 2001. Please, please. But I'll do. I got. I got a twenty-four hour race coming. Twenty-four hour ride coming up soon for sure. How do you stay motivated? Tori, how do you stay motivated? Well, because I eat so much, I'm just motivated all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. If you have a good diet, you're motivated. Uh, <laughs> or if you have like motivating people around you. Um yeah. So I think you gotta you gotta get in tune with what you're passionate about. You know, um, for some people it's making money. For some people it's creating change, creating community. Yeah. So for me, it's the community. Do, for, do what you really enjoy, I mean, and then you'll be motivated. As money's well. awesome. It helps you, you know, buy things and stuff. Like right now, this hotel we're staying at tonight, twenty, but not nineteen dollars, man. Nineteen and bucks. It's so nice. You know, so I don't, I don't blow big cash on hotels anymore. Um, actually, I never really did it anyway. I did it maybe a couple of videos, but nineteen bucks to stay here tonight. Nineteen bucks. So it's pool. So I'd rather spend it on bike frames or something like that. How's a niche frame? Tori, how's a niche going? It's good. It's really good. It was my first big ride on it today. It was and too. We had no problems. Yeah, it was too. Wasn't it? Yeah, wow. Well, yeah, that's okay. It was it's really good. good. It's good. Yeah, because I don't like recently the biggest ride I did was um, mm, mm, mm. Montreal. Yeah. It's 80k. Now today it was more than double. Hmm. Living the life like usual, DR. That's what I mean, man. I mean, I've got these trolls on the internet or in real life or whatever, and they just they just, they think they can get me down. I mean, sometimes they get me frustrated for sure. Sometimes I feel hurt 
because there's some people I know personally who backs you know, become backstab strong or whatever. But end of the day, man, I'm, I'm living my I'm living my dream, man. I'm living my dream, and I can't complain too much. And every time I'm thinking a little bit down, like oh this person's going against me now and whatever I do to them, blah blah blah, and I go into victim mode. I'm just like, Harley, come on, man, harden up, bro. Like you're living the fucking dream. These people are in a lot of pain, man. You know, people in pain cause other people pain. Hurt people, hurt people. So I just remind myself of that and just just somebody asked just move you on. to make um, some cycling gear. But you are. You just, you just changed the subject, man. I was trying to get all deep and meaningful, oh. and this little twenty-one-year-old hottie over here just starts <laughs> to change the subject about cycling clothing. It's like oh. trying to, trying to, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to save the world over here in this live stream, and you're just like. <laughs> so anyway, my cycling clothing is. Um, I'm getting it short, sharp, and trying it. It is. It is coming out. It's, it's, it's actually, I got the email today, man. It's live, man. Doing a cycling kit is live, but it's just sitting in the factory there in Chiang Mai. I got to pick it up. And we went there yesterday, look, and had it suss around, looked at the workers and stuff. It's such a chilled environment. And, yeah, the, the workers we're came out. watching YouTube videos with them. Yeah. And like... <laughs> the workers are wearing the clothing, man. They're wearing, like, triple S apparel. And so are we. <laughs> and so are we. You know, like, it's, so it's definitely family, definitely chill, different, definitely we community. We basically work there. Yeah, there was no one that looked, coming out of work who looked anemic and pinging off their nuts. It was on some stims or whatever. Everyone looked pretty fucking relaxed, man. Thai style, Thai style. So it was good. No one looked starved or broke. It looked all, all pretty set, all pretty good, man. So I like to, like to support that. Um, five months sober, you are an inspiration, are you? Very good to hear. Very good to hear, bro. Straight life's the best life. <laughs> Straight life's the best life, definitely. Uh, vegan gains debate. Vegan gains has pulled out. Um, I have to do another video about that. But vegan gains has pulled out. Is that vegan gains in the pool? Oh my god. So vegan games. If vegan games was drowning, would I save him? For sure, man. I'll throw him a couple of vegan donuts. And a, <laughs> and then, what, like those donut savers, you know, yeah, the yeah, rings. Yeah. yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, I'll throw vegan games some pool donuts and get and save save him, man. Um, I don't hate vegan games. I mean, he's definitely said some really nasty things about me. He's definitely done some really nasty things to me. But you know, I think you got to forgive. You got to forgive. They, those who can forgive are the strongest, mm. and those who can forget are the happiest maybe one day I'll forget what Vegan Danes has done to me but I probably should do that sooner than later um, a lot of cyclists and alcoholics agree I agree man because they don't get enough carbohydrates most cyclists get into cycling for weight loss and then they cut their carbs a bit and then they get really hungry and have a few beers and then the body goes give me more alcohol man it's carbs and then a lot of cyclists are full a lot of cyclists are full alcoholics man it's crazy what do you think about vegetable police moving to Thailand Hey, he comes to Chiang Mai, mate. He's he's getting the recommendations of the best here, so I, I think it's great um, that Veggie Police has come to down to Thailand. That's just like, what are you trying to, what are you trying to do down there? <laughs> um, ooh, where are your hands going right now? Um, I think it's great. I mean, Chiang Mai is awesome, man. I mean, I, I only give the best advice. If you want good durian, Thailand's not the best place for it. Go to Penang, Malaysia, or if you want durian right now, hit up Philippines, Davao City, and they've got the marung there right now. Um, why is vegan gains overweight now? Um, he used to be really lean when he was taking my advice. He'd be carbon the fuck up on bananas and rice and sugars and stuff like that. But now he's, I don't know what, what's going on. I, I, I mean, he's a big guy. He's a big guy. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what's going on um, with vegan gains. Because he did a video the other day, how to lose weight. But he used some photoshopped steroid person... In the, in the thumbnail image and I'm like if I'm going to do a video on how to lose weight I'm going to be in the picture or maybe have Tori or someone in the picture a lean vegan like I'm not going to put some steroid meathead in the picture and then have me talk and I'd be you know, I, I don't know, I don't know. So there's uh, no hate towards vegan gains but uh, a lot of people ask me that question I'm like why, why would you do that that's, that's weird that's weird you know that's weird so yeah so officially vegan gains has pulled out of the bait he knew, he knew about it he didn't want to participate in it. He didn't give a reason for it. Um, and he doesn't have to. But it just showed, I guess it showed a lot of us that he doesn't want to um, engage in real questions. Which is disappointing. You know, I, I do take it a little bit personally. He wouldn't debate me because he, he's trashed me a lot. And I think if you don't give someone the chance to defend themselves, then you're just a bully. You know, if you want to do a live stream, if you have to hide behind jump cuts and scripts it's not really fair it's not really nice so 
Again, no hate to vegan gains, but hopefully we can get that debate happening one day. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Um, let's see, yeah. How do I make money? Um, how do I make money? You Collecting make cans, e got an ebook. Yeah, you know, I've made I've made money in the days. Super chat, people give me super chat here on YouTube. So, but yeah, I've made all my coin. Um, I do this more out of what's the word? <sighs> Altruism. You love it. And I love it, man. You're motivated to do it. Daniel, aren't you? Ro yeah, Daniel Rota. Hey, from Romania. Big <sighs> fan. Got crew from Romania. This is the power of the technology. I've got my smartphone here. I've got the Apple. You know, I've got the Apple iPhone 6S here. I could get whatever phone, but this is a good phone. And I'm here in Thailand, just finished dinner at a oh, vegan restaurant good. with my girl, with, with, with the bay. <laughs> and we've got people from Romania checking in. We've got people from Romania checking in. You know? Um, and someone gave me a super chat. Fido Demo. Ah, $10. Thank you for the entertainment. I want my kit. He wants his kit. Uh, the kit's coming, bro. Once I'm back in Chiang Mai, we're going to have some kits getting sent out. But thanks for your super chat support. Do you still run road racing fenders? Yes, on my Trekamonda, man. On my Trekamonda, I've got the road races, the Mark III. The Mark III. I cannot lose weight cycling to save life. John Roberts, go vegan, bro. High carb, motherfucker. Low fat, no oil, no oil, no avocados, no nuts, no seeds. And no, low fat, not no fat. Lo no fat. No fat, no fat. Don't do no fat, do no fat. Low fat. But you can't be no fat because you're as fat as bananas. I'm saying no overt fats, all right? And make a huge difference, you know? Huge difference, huge difference. Checking in from New York City. Let us in the comment section where you're from. So we've got Romania, we've got New York City, we've got Germany, we've got Russia. Where is the best mango in the world, says Sugar Boy. I think um, Australia. I'd say Thailand. If you want a nation that has mangoes year round and the quality is pretty good, I'd say Thailand. If you want the best mango I've ever had, would be the best mango I've had would be in Australia. Australia, off the tree, off the tree. But really hard to get, bro. Hard to get quality. So I'd say Thailand, man. Um, am I going to make merch? Example: t-shirts and hoodies. I got some designs coming. I got some designs coming. It's <laughs> cold. How, what do you mix for sugar water? Water. Um, Four hundred grams, five hundred grams in a bottle. The rest of water. No fat. No, def I definitely recommend fapping. Otherwise, you're going to become a hornbag craze, craze person. I lost 16 kilos in the last four to five months because of the wow. bike. Good work, bro. Don't lose too much. I want you to be as lean as Duran was. Don't lose too much. Um, hey, guys, that sucks that vegan gains decline in a debate. Yeah, it does suck. It, it would have been good if he was going to do it. Bulgaria. We've got a Bulgarian in the house. Purple haze. Purple haze. No fat, no fat, no fat. What do I think of Joe Rogan? Um, I would say Joe Rogan is, in my opinion, just a stoner dude who talks a lot and doesn't really say nothing. You know, he's just, I, I find him just, I, he's over the top. I, I'd be on his podcast, but he, again, he wouldn't have me on. He never has people, in my opinion, who, who ask real questions. I mean, really real, real questions. So I'd do his podcast in a heartbeat, but he wouldn't have me on. And that's not me being reverse psychology or double reverse psychology. That's just the truth. People like that don't have real people on there. They have people they can control and stuff like that. Pembrokeshire, Wales. What the vegan kestrel? I, I think I saw a kestrel swooping a banana one time. Um, why do you say things multiple times, dr, 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 dr? What do you mean? I like to repeat myself so it's clear for people. Uh, when am I back in Australia? Not sure. Not sure. Should I get stages 105 or 10 speed on eBay? I would recommend if you're going to get any electronics, buy them brand new. Because if electronics can cook up, so it's good to have that warranty. Oh, I've got so many questions coming through. What do I think about folding bikes for travel? I, 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 why? Why get a folding bike? Why not just use a normal bike? You know, I can get any bike I want, and I use a normal bike. I can't see any advantage to folding bikes. Poland, we've got Poland, we've got Duncan G's in Poland. Netherlands. Erlands, Netherlands. We've got Latvia. SoCal says good morning. We've got CT. Connecticut. Brazil. That's Connecticut. We've got Brazil. Isan, Thailand. Sami Express. Where in Isan are you, Sami Express? Where in Isan? Buridam. Koi. Uh, Virginia. Royette. Vagina. Royette. Virginia. <laughs> Londoners. Vagina. Royette or Udon Tani or Sisaket or. Kalisan or Udon Ratchatani or 
No, Ubon, Racha Dani. Mm. What else is there? Bur- Buriram. Nobody knows what you're talking right, about other than ties right now. Yeah, that's okay. I got down to 4% with your <laughs> advice. Don't get too lean, bro. <laughs> Don't get too lean. Can you shout me out, please? Ravi Fuad. Did I say that right? Ravi Fuad. Uh, what do you say to vegans who are afraid of sugar? I say those people mark that their life's meant to be Not sweet. Living. Life's meant to be sweet, man. And I couldn't date Tori if she wasn't into sugar, and she couldn't date me if I wasn't into sugar. Life's meant to be sweet. You gotta have sweet rice, you gotta have sweet fruit. And these people, man, a lot of these people who are like anti DR, really, they're like fruit phobic, man. They're really against the fruit. I mean, if you're against fruit, there's something wrong, man. You need more sweetness in your life, people. So get the fruit in there, get the simple sugars. You know, add some refined sugar if you need to, and just you meant to have sweet. Get sweet, sweet, sweet. Ah, uh, one nine thousand is good. The new dress is pretty good. I've ridden it, so right. Um, those guys in Maya Mall with the huge boxes of rice. Yeah, that's it. That's what we're talking about. What do I think of use of kettlebells? I think they're good. Just don't take your knees out with them. <laughs> just don't take your knees out. The new Jurace, I do like it, but it's not much better than the current stuff, in my opinion. Tori looks like a ballerina. Oh. A little ballerina. Do a little twelve. Peter North here. Me also, mate. Good looking, honky. New Orleans, LA. Um. What the? <laughs> did, did I watch the Peter Cucks new video? I watched. I, I just sort of scratched this little bit, like slid through it, just sort of boom, boom, boom. Saw about five frames of it. I was like, man, he's got, he's got some Joy Sparkles or something on there. So the dude's getting death spo for now. But I, I mean, I, when I first, when I first saw those videos, I was like, man, this dude's, you know, I was sort of a little bit like, oh my God, what's this dude doing? And now I'm just sort of like, it's sort of like, um, what's the word? It's like tax. This is how it is. You know, just, just roll with it. Just roll with it. Um, how do you use the key? What's that? How do you use the key for the room? You just put it against the dingo inside little bubbles. No, if it didn't you, work. Bubbles is getting tired. Oh, <laughs> just, just go for it. Go for a swim with the dogs. The sea dogs, the pool dogs. Bubbles had a long day. Yes. Bubbles tired. Um, Three more minutes. So it's not something says something. My teeth. I've had like man. I've had like my bite. You want a pizza? Fun me. My my bit. My <laughs> bite genetically is like really bad. So as I got older, my teeth are wearing. Um, so I got crowns on some. I got had some cracked teeth. I got an implant in there, and I actually got punched in the face last year. Hit in the face. Knocked off my bike, and I got to do some more work on this one. So sort of see, oh, that's so ugly. It's sort of not level, so that's going to cost well, a lot of money, Mr. Anthony. And you'll be paying for that, mate. You'll be paying for that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it is pretty fucking crazy out there. I mean, like if, if you punch someone in the teeth, man, that's that's pretty serious shit. You're causing them a lot of pain, and, you, and, and you're going to be paying a lot of money for that. That's just really wrong to punch someone in the face, um, and, and fuck up their teeth. It's just, it's just shit, you know. If you want to fight someone, jump in the ring, put on a fucking mouth guard, and go at it. All right, that's that's, what, that's my promise to anyone. If you want to have a go, let's get it in the fucking ring. Let's both, you know, get down to 70 kilos and let's go at it. Full MMA rules with a referee. All right, let's, let's not fuck around with this fucking surprise attack bullshit. Step up. Don't be a pussy. Don't be a bully. I'll fight anyone at 70 kilos. Um, what's my favorite refined sugar? Instant organic. Instant organic. There's vegan out there saying you should get all your carbs and sprouts. <laughs> Joey Sprout Strong. Sugar versus beans. Sugar, man. Performance, man. Performance. Performance. Advice to protect your teeth from sugar. Uh, sugar's not the issue with teeth. Uh, what the issue with teeth is is a dry mouth. Poor dental hygiene. Not flossing. You know, only floss the teeth you want to keep. And never have a dry mouth. I see people that go to bed with no water bottle and their mouth's dry all night. And they're, they're, that's not going to be good for your, your, your dental hygiene. You know, so you want to have water at all times nearby. Even if you're not uh, thirsty, or just have, keep your mouth moist. Oh, my mouth's getting dry from talking like this now. I need some water. Um, I'm, in, <laughs> I'm in porn. It was a hard day for me. Also, a 300-pound co-star. <laughs> what Mac do I have? I've got a 15-inch. I probably prefer a 12-inch MacBook to travel around with, but I've got a 15-inch. I've got a 15-inch. <laughs> Sorry, get those little <laughs> hands away. Um, Eugene, Oregon. Eugene, Oregon. University of Oregon, the Ducks. James Campagna. Um, I would say our beta cuck friend is hurting inside for sure. 
But I, so I don't take it personally. I look at my life, look at their lives, and I'm just like, I can't get, I can't get too angry or too hateful. Do you think vegans should have a more welcoming approach? I do, man. There's so many vegans out there who are too, like, what's the word? You know, repelling. And I used to be like that at the start. You've got that zealous and zeal. And I saw a video the other day, someone did some street interviews. Sorry. Someone did some street interviews the other day, and they're like, vegan versus four Italians. And I'm like, that's so racist, man. You know, like, people are going to watch that. They don't want to go vegan. It's like, vegans versus Italian. Well, I can't be a vegan if I'm Italian. Like, that's so racist, man. There's, there's no time for that. So I think some people just really push people away from it. Um, Madrid, Spain, you know. So I think we we got to have more friendly, man. we got to inspire people to make change. If you try and force them to make change, I mean, that's what the police do. I mean, are we vegan police? We're going to walk around there and... I mean, I've done that before, but it doesn't work, man. People got inspired to change by inspiration, you know, not frustration. Watch out for the brown submarines in the pool. Um, how to overcome depression and anxiety. Read my ebook, Carb the Fuck Up. That's a good book to read about that. You know, I've, talk, I've done a lot of videos about depression and anxiety. So just a choice in the moment. I've got more videos coming, but get my ebook, Carb the Fuck Up. Watch my videos about depression and anxiety. Why isn't Isla in jail yet? No one knows where, where the guy lives. He's hard to track down. Um, so, yeah. And there's no updates to the court case. It's all bogus. All a joke. Um, it, it, you can, $20 you can file a court, court suit in someone in Thailand. 20 bucks, man. 20 bucks. And then print it off and say, alright, I need 10,000 bucks for this. Scam. Any appealing on rally bikes that are behind the times these days? Rally did make some good bikes back in the 90s and the 80s. So, they've got some good bikes in the US. I saw it at Sea Otter last year. I was at Sea Otter last year. Some good bikes. Encourage my friend to do high carb, low fat, low salt. He lost 50 kilos in a year in exercise. Wow. wow. Uh, Dan Davies says, search YouTube Raber how I lost 50 kilos. Nice. Nice. That's what I mean, man. Low fat's where it's at. Um, I'm 180 and weigh only 65 kilo, loaded body fat. Should I gain more muscle, mass, or stick with the Depends what your goal is, Marius. Depends what your goal is, you know? Depends what your goal is. If you want to look like a cyclist, keep going. If you want to look like a bodybuilder, less cycling, more lifting. How do I know so much about the US? I've been to the US a few times, man. Cycle true to the US. I like it. I have good times in the US. We're doing a few more questions and I'm going to get my little baby to sleep. Little bubbles are sleepies. Oh, bubbles. Do I still recommend this Brighton 330? I use the Brighton 330. I love the Brighton 330. And for maps, I use my iPhone. I use my iPhone 6. Maps.me is a great Maps. app. Maps.me, free, offline. free offline maps, man. For sure. For sure. The street interviewers that use the anonymous masks are such and such. I mean, I think it's got some... It appeals to some people. It appeals to a, demo, a minor demographic. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing, exactly. It's better than nothing. I think that wearing the masks makes it easy for the people holding the computers to do it. So I think it's, I think it's good. You know, I think it's definitely good. How, can it be better? Everything can always be better. And I'll show you how it's going to be better when we get back to Adelaide, Australia. We'll be doing those things November, December, January, February, etc. Um, someone asked me, is the debate with vegan gains happening? Unfortunately, Richard's pulled out. Unfortunately, he's pulled out of it. So, no. Hello from Boston, Massachusetts. Boston. Come visit your fans in New York City. Uh, I was last in New York City in 2013. This looks like some prison escape scene in some movie. <laughs> I was in New York in 2014. Yeah. We're missing children, loves. That's right. Say hello and wave, please. <laughs> we're like we're like little quick little cats in the zoo. Can you wave, mate? Wave at me. <laughs> Can I stay with you in Australia over the winter? Um, you and about twenty other people who want to do that. Come and come go, come to Adelaide, man. Camp out. Adelaide's a good spot, man. Adelaide's Adelaide's the biggest vegan community in Australia now. Cause of me. Cause of cycling. Uh, cycling advice. There's more vegan cyclists in Adelaide than anywhere else in the world, apart from Chiang Mai. Uh, hey. Thanks for replying, Harley. Love you. No worries, Marcus, B23. What's that? You should do too much. Oh, listen, see what she's doing here? She's <laughs> capping my potential. I should <laughs> ditch cold. this bitch by the curb. Oy. Show this bitch where the 
vegan breads avocado buttered. <laughs> Lame. Lame. Um, someone said give me a kiss on the cheek. Oh, isn't that nice? Um, why was it a hard day? It was a hard day, if you didn't catch the start of the video, it was a hard day because I woke up really <laughs> tired, man, and Tori's, this is, what time did you get up? I woke up at 5.11. 5.11, man. I didn't, because I wanted to leave at 5.30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was... It and we was, didn't leave till fucking 6.47. Yeah, so it was, I was just so tired, being up late night, doing some edits and stuff, and making some room on my phone. It's 128 gig, and I've, I've just got so much footage. I've got, I've got so much videos to come for you guys, man. And girls, got so much stuff. So it was a, it was a hard day. Girls, Fatigue boys. was hard today, and then now I'm good. Didn't take any stims, no coffee, nothing. Just, just hydration, sugar, Lots of... and got it done. Meditation mm -hmm. on the bike felt good. It was a nice ride today, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we went a really good back way. Yeah, that was good. Beautiful. Love from India, Sushant Patil. Nice. Have you ever ridden bikes in North Carolina, NC? I haven't, but I hear it's good. I hear it's good. I love you, Harley. Nat Seal, please. Please tell Mr. That. Trump to stop war with North Korea for the sake of humanity. I think it's all just political oh. bogusness, in my opinion. But uh, it's a crazy world, man. That's why I don't think we should be having more kids. I think we should fix the problems that we've got in the world now before we have more kids. Orlando, Florida. What's up from Orlando, Florida? Get a room, you two. We actually do have a room. Um, so, some of London's tracks are good, but the weather's a little sketchy. Yeah, fuck London. Come to Thailand, man. 300 watts. Come to Thailand. All you, all you crew, come to Thailand or India. Or Australia. Or Australia. Australia in the summertime. Yeah. Unbelievable work rate, Harley. Hats off. Thank you, G Bell. Thank you. Uh, what else we got here? Just walking on the, waking on the Cali coast. California. Oh, California. Like California. Remember that song? Yeah, California. California. Oh, wait, what? It's time two. to carve the fuck up. California. No, it's time how to carve up. It's carve up. California. California. Knows, knows how, how to carb up. <laughs> That's what it is. California. The they drink a lot of sugar water. Do, 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 do. In the city. In the city. They eat spotty bananas. They ride their bikes. They ride, ride their bikes. To the city. They go to Whole Foods and get some. On their bikes. And get some peaches. And they get some sushi. And while they're in line, they watch some doing a lot of videos. Okay, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> I think we're too tired. I'm going crazy. Um, do metal fenders offer any aero advantages? I don't think so. Metal I don't think so. Fenders. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, it's um, cool. Someone said, no, nah, not Thailand. <laughs> 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 Thailand's awesome, man. <laughs> Thailand's rad, man. Thailand's rad. Where, where are our bikes parked? Oh my god, I've oh, got hey, oh, fish fingers. you got fish fingers. <laughs> where, where, are our bikes, got, where are our bikes parked right now? Um, we don't even know, man. That's, that's how carefree outside Thailand. The gym. That's how care, carefree. You see, if this is in Australia, man, at some hotel, there's no way I leave my bike out. I got my, I got my wallet. I don't even know where my wallet is. Oh, my wallet's over there somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, I got like 500 bucks in my wallet, man. Oh, on the other side of that pool there. You know what I mean? Seriously, I got 500 bucks in there. And, and that's Thailand, man. There's no way I do that in Australia, bro. There's no way doing it in Australia. There's literally over there somewhere. I'll put my shirt down. Now yeah, I'm starting to think about it. I'm like, oh. No, I can't go out the pole because there's you know so mean? many people so here. So it's, it's like, it's crazy. Thailand, man. Thailand's rad, man. Thailand's rad. Craziest place you've had a bang. We talked about this before, didn't we? I can't even remember. I'm, I'm still virgin. I'm, I'm a virgin gains. <laughs> You're virgin at France 40. is some of the best roads. France is good, man. France is really good. Where's the best place to buy a bike? Thailand or Australia? Um... Wherever you are right now, bro. If you're in Australia, buy a bike now. If you're in Thailand, buy a bike now. And I'd recommend Trek. Mm. Trek make a good bike. Trek a Mondo or the Trek 1 series. <laughs> Give me the pizza fund money. <laughs> pizza fund. Have I seen Vegetable Police lately? I, he, I'm in Chiang Rai at the moment. Um, we're doing some, some business up he here. Is so in he's in Chiang Mai. I don't even know where VP is. Um... Richard said he never did it. Uh, Richard, Richard technically did agree to a debate. He did agree to a debate, but he seems to be backed out of it. Um, there was a little bit of trolling going on there, but Richard did. He did agree to a debate a while back. So I've caught him out on it, but he's backed off. So, well, what can we do there? What can we do? Right, I'm going to do two questions here. 
OC, Southern Cali's like coming more like New York. Mm. Um, <laughs> why was the day so hard? I was just very tired and we did a big ride. 187 Ks. Follow me on Strava. And me too. I had sex on the 18th hole of the Stanford University Golf Course. Hole in one. I hope you had a vasectomy. So you got no little golf babies coming out. Popping out golf, golf balls. Do I like babies? <laughs> Do I like babies? I, I've got a little baby over here. Um, a little bubby over here. I still have some cute babies. Yeah, I, 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 I like babies, but I prefer vasectomies. I like vasectomies better. Have I heard about the Kino body versus Brendan C. Carter match? Which word will win? I think this would be a setup, but it'd be pretty funny. It'd be what, pretty funny. What question? I think Kino body's too pretty to be any good at boxing. He'd, be, he'd probably spend too much time looking in the mirror. Is Kino body vegan? No, no. <laughs> Kino body's my favourite nanny vegan. How much calories are you eating these days? Um, watch my Snapchat, watch my Instagram. I always post a lot of stuff up there. Three and a half, eight thousand cows, you know. 187k in Thailand is like 400k is here. So humid and the climbs are epic in Thailand. That's true, Louis. That's true. Hope to hope see in Adelaide this summer, bro. Have some good times. Show some good climbs in Adelaide, bro. How would you explain we have been eating fat for ages and now that we eat refined sugars? Diabetes has gone up the roof. Uh, diabetes has been back in the Egyptian days, back in the Eskimos. So diabetes has been around forever. All right, so. How do you explain that? All right. How do you explain that type 2 diabetes can be reversed on a high sugar diet? And how do you explain that di diabetes has been around forever, man? Google it up. Diabetes has been around forever. Baby Kayla. We've got some Baby Kayla videos coming soon. Do I eat a lot of breads? Eh, not that much bread. I prefer pizza. Um, does a vasectomy preserve energy? Or do you feel still drained after busting nuts? I think if you're busting nuts, you've probably got low tests and you feel drained. Or maybe it's just in your head. But no, definitely vasectomy, bro. It's the way to go. It's the way to go. It's the way to go. Let's go. <laughs> See what happens? I should have gone MGTOW. I should have gone MGTOW. MGTOW 101 was right. I'm going MGTOW. I'm getting rid of this, this, gold, this gold digger bitch. Get off my back, little monkey girl. <laughs> what? I thought some bubbles. No bubbles, some bubbles. So mm. I would say um, MGTOW for the win. Oi, right, guys. Seriously, go MGTOW, man. Oh, I can hear you. Oh shit, busted. Um, Watch out, there's crocodiles. Oh, it's crocodiles. I'm going to go to Melbourne to James, Adelaide with James Parish. That's around, finish a bike around Australia, Melbourne 29th. Nice. Oh. Low test equals tired, for sure. Thanks for clearing up the misconception about veganism and weight loss. Tori looks like Linda Evangelista. She does a little bit, doesn't she? People always say that. Really? Always. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a shower, go to some bed. Out. And um <laughs> And I'm gonna get out, we're gonna have some fun. Thanks for the questions, thanks for Super Chats gang, thanks for support. And we'll see you guys soon. My favourite movie? Bye! Oh, that's that next video. Maybe it's Forest Gump, maybe not. Smell you later. <laughs> see ya. We'll turn the